streets. This is insanity, man. And we will be playing Hitman Absolution. I tell you, this game is just absolutely amazing. First of all, I got it for free on PlayStation Network. If you do not have PlayStation Plus, what the hell are you doing with your life other than having a 360? I own a 360. I was a really big 360 guy. But then after Xbox One, I was like, why am I going to give you my money? And then I told myself, you're not. So let's go play PlayStation. Thank God I have both systems in home. Now, with, play with the PlayStation Store and Network and stuff, you know, you can get free games at least three or four every month. It is so worth it. If you have a PlayStation 3 and you don't have it, you need to go get it. It is so worth the extra few dollars. So, with that being said, we are playing Hitman Absolution. I'm trying to walk around because I am going to poison the shit out of the king of Chinatown. The king of Chinatown. Now, Twelve of these assassinations will unlock challenges. Really? To view the challenges, consult the notebook. Okay, but I don't want to look at the notebook, but you're kind of forcing me to anyways, because I already know what I'm going to do. I took that fish when I chick looked at that fish and was like, that's my fish, and she said, okay. So, I walk around the corner here, and I find this chef outfit. I kind of found this earlier when I was kind of just running around. There's a playthrough. I don't think I recorded it. I basically just shot the hell at everyone and got away with it. It felt really good, but it didn't feel like Hitman. Uh, right there, I accidentally scared the Chinese guy away because, like, I took his clothing. He's like, why are you back here? I'm like, mm, strong and silent type. And then, be like, okay. And then he runs away and goes to the police because we don't want to deal with the police. Or, you know, like, the way I kind of, like, realized saying it while playing this game, the poor lice. Because they like to contaminate the area as Hitman's trying to work. That might have sound stupid, crazy, or whatever. But, that's okay. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to walk around the corner. We're going to take up the chef outfit. And then we're going to poison his soup. Because it's just so worth it. So, right now, I'm going to try and put some of these Hitman videos out. Um, it was about once or maybe twice a week. I'm going to try to do a whole playthrough. And you guys are going to join me. This is, this is going to be a journey because I'm not really good at these games. And you're going to see me fuck up a lot, and that's okay. I don't I don't mind screwing up in this game because if I do, I can just pull a shotgun out and just kill everyone. You're going to see in later videos how that there just works out for me. To assassinate the king of Chinatown. Twelve of these assassinations will unlock what, what, challenges. What? Did I alert him? To view the challenges, consult I alerted you, didn't I? Leave me alone, cook! Oh, okay, fine, fine, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. You know, why you gotta follow me? Why you gotta follow me? Is that really important? Just leave me alone. Instinct. Instinct. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I gotta start all over again, don't I? Ugh, it's, it's whatever. It's one thing I hate doing doing, but yeah, I keep restarting the same part because something's just not working out. But that's okay. Once you start learning, everybody starts becoming your predominant bitch. So, these big crowds are actually pretty awesome. And this is a little bit different. I'm used. To, I'm usually doing like old school games and stuff, but I, I wanted to take more of a modern role because, well, this, I just had so much fun. I had to share this with you guys. Oh man, you know what? I would love to see like Hitman in a fighting game. I don't even know how in the hell that would work. But I would just like to see it. Agent 47 in a fighting game somehow. Somebody come with a concept, just make it happen. If I can get it in my hands, I would just enjoy the hell out of it. But this these games take a lot of strategy. You have to figure out your ins and your outs. You, know, you gotta figure out if the shot's gonna be heard. Look, I have squat down. I'm like, you don't hear me. You don't hear me. I'm crouching. Crouching walking. You still don't see me. Hey, I was here already. Don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it. No, instinct. It's cool, man. Because, you know, if I just press a button, apparently you automatically start recognizing me. That's cool. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the, I'm gonna take the uh, blowfish poison. I'm going to put it in that soup. Which I, not, I'm sure not, I just can't do. Let me just walk away for a second. It's like, here. Put the soup. Ah, no one sees me, right? Nope. Alright, so we're going to hide this dumpster. We're going to play a little favorite game of mine called Peekaboo. As in Peekaboo. 
Oh, I see you. Oh, no. I, I, I see you. I see you. Nah, no, no, uh, no. You saw me. That's all right. I'm going to get the hell out. It's all right. Oh, yeah. See, I cook things right there. I can actually do that in real life. I can actually take the pan, you know, move it around. Pan go on fire. And then, like, I have to actually cook correctly. It's, it's all about how. It's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. If you guys ever seen Happy Gilmore, you'll understand that statement. It's all in the wrist. So I'm going to sit here. I'm just going to feel like I'm going to just talk to this cop. Be like, hey, Sergeant, how you doing? Well, I've had a rough day. You know, just, I'm just hanging out here in the middle of Chicago. And, you know, I'm just kind of just just to have to watch out for this king of uh, Chinatown. Oh, wait. Hey, it's croaking. Oh, 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 there goes my bonus. All right, later, man. Oh, now I just kind of walk away because I've done my job and I get all the points. I think it's a pretty good score. If you think you can beat my score, send me a message or show me a picture. If there's no picture, it didn't happen. You want some change? Well, dude, you never specified where the fuck you want me to put the damn change, homeless bastard. So I got 138,000. I know I can do better. So, let's get to it. Uh, this is just relax. The king of Chinatown. But we will be getting back. I like look at all those little trophies or achievements, whatever the hell you want to call. It. I like the name achievements from Xbox. I mean, I got a trophy, but it's not an achievement. When I say achievement, it just it feels like it's worth more. Now, if you're going to tell me, oh, it's worth nothing at all, I know this. But it just feels nice. It feels like it feels feel like you have gratitude. Like somebody's telling you, you did a good job, son. But, Dad, all I did was pour milk into the bowl. That's right. You did good. You can do anything now. You sure? Yeah. And that's all right. So, with this going on, I'm just kind of walking through the crowd again. I got to go find the outfit again. You gotta get the blowfish poison, my favorite, once again, and then we're gonna poison the king of Chinatown again. This is just gonna be fun. Oh man! So we have wait, wait, hey, hey, I want fish, I want tuna. Give me a tuna roll. Give me a, uh, give me a, uh, give me orchard. Give me sea orchard. Ah, oh, uh, fuck you. I'll take what the hell I want. I want the goddamn blowfish. There are countless Fuck you, don't tell me to move along. The king of Chinatown. Computer, try to talk to me. Stop the telling me what to do. This is not the objective. My objective is not to look at notebooks. No My objective is to kill someone. Leave me alone. It's alright, listen, I'm again I'm again the costume. Oh god, look at a notebook. Oh, annoying ass. You're like instinct. Let me just walk past you. You smoke your cigarette. You're like, I stay healthy for not smoking. So I walk over here. And then walk over there, and then I I don't know. We do the mumbo jumbo together. I was type of dance. Hey, 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 teacher, teacher, have an answer. Have an answer. I raise my hand. Pick me. Uh, yeah, well, make it snappy. Make it snappy. I'm such an arrogant ass. Do you have to make it snappy? Nice shop you got. Really nice. Took the evidence. Business good, huh? You know. I'd like to help you keep it that way. Really? You know how you can help me help you doing that? How's that? By paying your bills on time. That's how. Hey, fucking. You know what? It's okay. It's okay, boss. It's okay. I'll pay you with the best way I know how. I'm just gonna let you sleep for all of eternity, you fucking prick. So, um, I'm gonna walk up these stairs. Hi, coppers! You ain't gonna do your job. I'm the cook. I'm gonna pull out to put the poison. It's like, how do you turn the fish into a liquid? Does he just take like the fish and squeeze it in there? And then my other question would be, when he if he gets like the oil stuff on his hands by accident, does he poison himself? Is it like, is he immune to poison? I mean, this guy I know was like put through like chemistry and like laboratory and all this other shit can. Can Hitman be poisoned? I don't know. I don't know the myth known as Hitman. The far as I know, I saw the movie. The movie wasn't terrible, but the movie wasn't really that good either. If anybody asks me, have you seen the Hitman movie? I'm like, yeah, 
Yeah! Was it terrible? Nah, it wasn't that bad. I played all the games. It's like, I didn't. I thought it was alright, but I can see how it was a bad movie, kind of. I mean, <coughs> the little bit I've seen, it's... Uh, it's, I mean, I can see how it's just not relatable to the game, but as a movie by itself, it's not terrible. I mean, the acting could have been better, and then the actors could have been picked differently. But I've seen far worse movies. You want to see a bad movie, look up Trauma, look up a movie called Buck Crack. That movie is about a man that he has, like, roommates, and they all have buck. And like whenever he bends over, his butt crack is showing. So then like they get sick of it and they murder him. And it's like his like his sister does like voodoo and shit. And then she says like whoever says his name and says butt crack eight times in one sentence will bring him back to life as a zombie. And then like when he comes back as a zombie because somebody does that, you know, because like that's the whole movie. Whenever he bends over, somebody sees a butt crack, he's like they start melting they start like melting and throwing up green shit and everything. It is the most ridiculous movie I have ever seen. So how much product we talking about? Alright, so back to the game. That's his drug dealer. We're gonna do some videos of that where you can actually knock out the drug dealer, dress the drug dealer, take the guy into the back room, and you can decide what to do with him. Uh, do you take that dirty if you want? Do you take that clean? Or you just take it as a bullet to the head any which way you want? So, what he's gonna do is he's gonna sit down. It's like, I'm the king of Chinatown. I got nothing to worry about. I've had a hard life and no one likes me. Let me take a drink of my liquor. Nope. I had enough of that. My job's done here. Hey, hey. Guess what? My rent's been paid with your soul, bitch. So, with that being said, this is my second time doing this mission over. Um, the next video that comes af out after this will not be of this mission. It would actually be the mission afterwards. But we're going to do this mission one more time. We're going to just do it just a little more humorously. Alright, so I got 100, 144,300. Like I said, if you think you can do better, hit me up. Show me a score. Or say, like, send me a video. And I will watch it. I will watch your video if you can do better. And if you can't, just send me a video and let me see. So, with that being said, this time I am just going to be regular Hitman. Well, I mean, what's the guy's name? Oh, so it's Agent 47. I mean, what do I call him? Ford? Do I call him Seven for short? Do I call him, like, Fiza? Like, these aren't even words I'm making up now. Does he have, like, a nickname? Do I have to call him 40? Alright, so I'm walking around as 47. I, mean, I don't like calling somebody by a number. I feel like I'm just talking about, alright, let's clean up an aisle 47. Clean up aisle 47. It's like you don't even really understand 100%. I, I really don't understand 100%. I don't want to call him 47. Listen, this is kind of a force of a habit. I keep coming back here and just pick up the poison. I was thinking about coming back over here and drugging him and like drugging his drugs. But then I realized, ah, I'm, I'm tired of drugging the guy. It's like, it's the best you can do, but what else can I do with this guy? I know you can snipe him. Apparently, you can drop a brick and hit him in the head. Or hit him in the head with a brick. I don't remember. You can blow up his car. Oh, wait, wait. See, like, I went here. I poisoned his drugs. And I... I wanted to play peekaboo, but there was nobody to play with, so it made it made 47 sad. It's like, I want to play peekaboo. I had a bad childhood. I grew up in a laboratory. Why won't anybody play with me? I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm gonna kill someone. Shut up, bitch. So we're walking around. Now 47. Now I'm in the middle of Chicago. Where Motown was born, Blues Brothers came, and so many other wonderful musical features. On side note, if you guys have never seen the movie Chicago, you really should go see the movie Chicago. It is, it is dynamite in my opinion. Richard Greer, Renee Zellweger, Catherine Zeta Jones, go do it. Yeah, you've been doing stuff. You've been giving yourself a little treat. So I decided to follow the guy because I actually want to like watch his movement. I'm just following him, and he, you know, he's gonna go taste his food like he normally does. And there's that sergeant we had that discussion with. How's the day, sergeant? Back off. Well, Alright. 
fuck you too, man. You tell me fuck off. Like, look, I'm like, oh, okay, there's a hole. I didn't realize that hole was there to knock his ass down. Now, this son of a, this son of a bitch is stupid enough to go look or go look at a hole. Why would you go look at a hole? This is Sparta! Kick you! Oh! Bitch, you think bullets hurt me? I'm a fucking science lab experiment! You can punch the face for that! Everybody shooting me! I'm like, duck down! Duck down! Let, let the car get killed! I don't need to get killed. Let everybody else get shot. I'm valuable. So the chef already left. I'm like, alright, alright. This is work beforehand. Let me go grab the chef outfit. Ah. Uh, alright, quick question. Can you smell what 47's cooking? Ha, ha, ha. Ah, that was terrible. Let's continue on. But... We are, we're leaving through Lucky Ducky Dumplings. I would love a logo something like that if I ever make a store. That is just absolutely fucking cool. So, I finish it by kicking him down a hole. Spartan style. Now, I don't know what I do after this. But, this is where I'm going to end this video. I'm going to tell you right now. Subscribe. Favorite my videos. Like them. Leave me a comment. And I promise you that I will be making more. I'll even play with you in games. I play lots of fighting games, first person shooters, um, add me on Xbox, add me on PlayStation Network, and we will be back. Take care everyone.